lockdown, and I have with me P. Jeff from FM. Nice hey, meeting Jane, you. Hi. And you. Um, let's talk about release of 13. It's been released the 18th of March. Yeah. What, what's the media and fans' reaction been like so far? It's been amazing, to be honest. Um, I haven't actually heard a bad word about it, so that's that's great. Um, we had great uh, reactions to the videos that we've released. Mm -hmm. Like the first one, um, Waiting on Love, that's probably getting on close to 100,000 views on YouTube. Oh. Um, you know, so that's that's great. So, no, very, very, very positive. We're very, very pleased. Okay. Um, can you tell us something about the band and who's your biggest influence? Oh, blimey. Um, <laughs> when, we, when we started in sort of 84, 85, um, like I say, we were into bands like Journey, Foreigner, that kind of thing, um, Bad Company. Um, and then when we were recording uh, Indiscreet, um, we were really into the Go West, that first Go West album. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got lots of influences, really, you know. Okay. Um, which song would you recommend to someone who hasn't listened to FM before? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> off, off, the new, off the new album or? Uh, any album. Any album. Um, well, I'm kind of looking probably something like, um, just looking for things like Spotify, um, Tough It Out or That Girl. They seem to be the favourites. So maybe that's a good starting point. You yeah. Know? Um, oh. And I, I, Iron Maiden did a cover of That Girl. Oh, really? A long time ago, yeah. They did it as a B-side, yeah. Oh, I'm going to check that one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what artist band would the band spend a week with, if you had a choice? Ooh. Um, now then, I'd say probably, probably free when they were when they were going. Okay. And free, yeah. They were like a, a an influence on us as well, kind of mm -hmm. thing. And um, but now there's loads of there's loads of bands that uh, you know I like to hang out with and have a chat with you know someone like Prince that'd be good oh yeah yeah <laughs> um how important do you feel it is for a band to have a close interaction with your fans I think it's very important um if we do live shows you know before before covid happened uh we would always go out after the show and meet the fans you know meet and greets and stuff and we wouldn't charge for them um yeah just go out and no it's good because what you think might be good sometimes the fans think something different so it's good to get their their opinion because they're the ones that count yeah that's true um what's the most memorable concert you've ever been to mm, oh there's a couple actually i went to, i saw the who um at charlton athletic football ground in would have been 70 something I'm showing my age here um <laughs> i went there with my brother um that was great uh also he got me tickets for led zeppelin at earl's court wow i saw that that's 75 i think that You're was lucky one <laughs> yeah so I was, yeah I had, I had a great brother no, my brother good. was very good to me yeah so yeah so probably the who or um or Led Zeppelin they were great in the 70s then um later on I, we were mad we were mad fans of Dan Reed Network and we mm -hmm. went to see them at um at the Marquee Club in London and that was that was an amazing show it was just full of musicians kind of thing oh, with, their jaw, nice. with their jaws on the floor <laughs> how, do, how do they do this you know <laughs> so that was good yeah I mean you know, I love I love live music, so it's it's uh, you know I've got lots of good memories on stuff. You know, I, I was lucky to see I saw Bad Company, um, all sorts of all sorts of bands with my brother. He was he was like fourteen years older than me, so oh, okay. he'd buy the ticket and just take me oh. along. Yeah, you know, a so. very lovely brother. <laughs> very, yeah, yeah. Um, 
my personal favorite track is Love and War. What is your favorite song okay. on the album and why? On the new album? Yeah. Um, it keeps changing, actually. We've, we've been playing a, um, one, two, three of the songs because we're going out on tour. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a UK tour, then we're coming over to Europe in in May. Um, so we've we've been. I'm not going to say which songs actually because I'm going to give it away at the moment. <laughs> um, but we played three. We're playing three songs off the new album, which is quite a lot for us, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, let me think. I think uh, "Shaking the Tree." There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my second one. Oh, is that okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um what do you like best and worst about touring um i don't think there's anything bad about touring um i mean even the traveling the traveling doesn't bother me to be honest you yeah. know some people like you know yeah find it tiring but um no i, I like obviously you know being on stage that's the best bit mm -hmm. um but you know the traveling and the rehearsing and the everything it just becomes part of of what it is so there's nothing i particularly sometimes hanging around before a show um yeah be, that's what the most that musicians be, say that the, be, that the, the waiting the waiting a bit of a stage, yes. yeah exactly you know if, if you haven't got a hotel close by so you're just at the venue you're just sat in the dressing room kind of thing you know that can be mm. that can sometimes be a drag but no it's all you know i'm just the, I just appreciate being able to do it, really. You know, oh. so um, it's good to be still doing it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, you wanted to say something? Pardon? You wanted to, to add something to that? No, 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 no. Ah, no that, okay, that, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, which three bands would be your ultimate touring buddies? Oh, well, any, any band at all. Uh -huh. Any bands? Any bands or bands around now? Oh, okay. Any cool. any band? Any bands or do they have to be around now or can they be bands? No. That are not, oh, any bands. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I'll, we'll go with uh, Bad Company, Led Zeppelin, and Prince. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, which three bands would be your ultimate touring buddies? Really which, which two? Which two bands? Three or four or... Three or four. I was going to say, I'd, I'd like to, yeah, Bad Company. Yeah. Led Zeppelin and Prince. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you feel has been your biggest accomplishment this far? Um, but it's all little stages. Like when we first got together, it was kind of... If we can get to like headline the marquee in London, that's a little mm. stepping stone. And then do a support to, you know, and it's just little stepping stones. Probably the, the biggest achievement for me was when we headlined Hammersmith Odeon in 1989. That was, yeah. that was good because that was always a dream of mine. So, yeah. so that, that was good. But then, you know, getting back together, um, the Firefest, that was, that was an amazing mm -hmm. event. You know, like we hadn't played together for 12 years. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we were just kind of, we thought, well, well, you know, for 200 people turn up, then that'll be great. But, you know, <laughs> we sold out, we sold out Nottingham Rock City, 1,500 people. Wow. And uh, it was, it was great. Yeah. You know, and that's when we came off thinking, oh, right, maybe we better do an album. <laughs> so uh -huh. that's what we've done. And yeah, we just carried on. And it's just snowballed from there. Yeah. Yeah. But once you, once you have your fans from the old days, Older mm. days, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> then yeah. you have, to, then they want to know what you're doing now. Yes, um, we were just amazed that they stuck by us after all uh -huh. those years because we yeah. didn't, we didn't really have. Well, it, it was, it was kind of before social media was really up how it is now. Um, and we were just surprised that people remembered who we were, you know, and they were still there. So, uh, and like I say, now it's. And they're still there and we're getting, you know, newer, younger fans. So it's, it, it's good. You know, it's, it's, it's building again, you know, yeah. and then we've done, since we went back together again, we've done new territories where we never played before, like Spain, Greece. So um, no, it's good. You know, we're having fun.
Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you tell us about festival and tour plans for the year? Um, we've got, we're doing a British tour through April and then okay. we're doing, we're going to Europe in May. Uh, we're doing Germany, Holland, Switzerland, Spain and Italy and I think maybe France as well. Okay. And then we've got some more, maybe we're, we're working on shows for later in the year as well, but they haven't been confirmed yet. So at the minute we're doing a British tour in April and yeah. some European shows in May. And then, you know, if any uh, festivals can come up, then that would be great, you know. Yeah, maybe some in Belgium as well. Who yes, knows? you know, who knows, yeah. who knows, you know. Um, what can we expect from you guys live? Live? Yes. Um, well, we always try and involve the audience as much as we can. And we just want everybody to have a good time. Really, that's that's the thing. Just you know, for for the hour and a half you're there, you can just be there and forget all your troubles and everything of everyday life, mm -hmm. um, and just you know, we just want it to be a party, really. You know, yeah. and it's always difficult choosing a set at the moment, you know, because we've got we've done, well, 13 albums now. You know, so there's a lot of songs to choose from, so yeah. we have to do the, the favourites of the fans. But uh, so you know, picking a set can sometimes be. Uh, we have a few arguments, you know. Yeah. So we want to do this old <laughs> one or the other one or the one yeah, this exactly. album. Or... Yeah. So like I say, we've got three three songs off of the new album uh -huh. in this current set we're doing. And then we've got another song that we've never played live before from one of the albums. But like I say, I'm not going to give it away just yet. Oh, yeah. that's good. A little, bit, <laughs> a little mystery is always good. Yeah, see? <laughs> All will be revealed in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, if you could do a cover of any song, which one would that be and why? Ooh. Well, we did a cover of Heard It Through the Grapevine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I don't know, really. Um, we did, um, when we did Firefest, we did, for an encore, we did Purple Rain by Prince kind of thing, but we never, we've never recorded it. So maybe, maybe oh, that. You know? That's a shame. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but also it's very, it's very difficult. Like Prince's people are very, they're on it. And if you release stuff that his songs and they kind of close it down pretty quickly. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that's a great song. And uh, yeah. that's great well, memory. I hope you'll record it one day. Yeah, maybe you never know. You never yeah. know. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Um, can you tell us why we should buy your music and listen to the band? Um, so I can survive. Yes, <laughs> first of all. Go, yeah, we can go on <laughs> tour. Um, no, if you if you like melodic music, then I think we're a good good place to start. Really, you know, mm -hmm. good melodic rock music. So uh, I'd say check us out you know so they, they can find you on social media yeah yeah if you if you put i mean we've got the worst name ever you know because we we formed in 84 85 and okay. that's before like the internet and like fm so yeah that's a good name kind of, kind of, now it's the worst name ever for, <laughs> for, you know, for the internet so but if you put fm official into uh, google then we will come up kind of thing uh, yeah but you have to put the official bit on the end so fm official put that in okay you know, and you'll see um, lots of yeah yeah i checked it out already it's, all right uh, okay yeah of course right. <laughs> four words to describe fm four words yeah. um melodic mm -hmm. uh i think Classic rock, well, that's two words. There you go, that's three words. Classic rock. And um, count that as one. As one word, okay. So uh, melodic classic rock. Um, oh dear, I've never, um, never thought about describing, um, describing us. Um, what else would I say? I mean, I think we're honest. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And what's the last one? One more. Um, well, you've got me see, ask me these difficult questions. Kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I thought about and, fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we, we try and make our live shows fun. So, yeah, okay. you can look, we'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have some final words for your fans and our viewers? Yeah. Well, just um, thanks for sticking by us. You know, we've all had very challenging times the last couple of years and it's still challenging now. But uh, thanks for sticking by us and thanks for buying the album and coming to the show, spending your money. Um, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Okay. Yeah, we hope the same. Um, thank you, Pete, yeah. for this interesting interview. It was oh, a you. very nice conversation. Oh, thank you. Thank I you. hope to interview you live one day. Or yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, my okay. pleasure. Right then, you take thank care. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah, have a nice night. Thank you. Bye.